Hello and welcome to our discussion on the cost to variances. We will continue to have the focus on the labor cost variance. And we saw that labor cost variance will be divided into rate variance and efficiency variances. And the efficiency variance may be now due to the change in the composition of the workers or it's a net efficiency variances. In other words, if there is a, a group of people working for a particular task, then the labor efficiency variance is further subdivided into the gang variance or mixed variance and the balance is treated as the net efficiency variance. So labor cost variance at the first level is divided into efficiency variance and the rate variances and efficiency variance can be further subdivided into gang or mixed variance and the balance is called the efficiency net efficiency variance. So whenever there is a group of people of different class of workers or employees are involved then we come across the labor gang or labor mix variances. So let us take an example to observe the calculation of labor variances if there is a composition of different group of employees. So in this is a standard cost sheet for 50 units of output for 50 units of output. It says that 10 workers male, 20 female workers working for 5 and 10 hours respectively at the rate of 120 and 150 respectively can produce 50 units. So the number of person hours for male it is 50, for female 200. So 250 hours can produce 50 units of output and each hour cost is 120 and 150 respectively. So the total cost of labor cost to produce 50 units is 36,000. So the cost of labor per unit of output is 720. That is the standard. But with this standard, the when actual is compared, the actual cost is equal to, the actual cost is, uh, actual output is 350. And to produce this 350, the company used 50 male working for 25 hours and 40 female workers working for, for 20 hours. So 1250 and 800 hours respectively at different rates which is different from what they mm, proposed or what they uh, was the standard. As a result per unit cost is equal to 804. The cost has gone up by 804 minus 720 so 84 rupees per unit cost has gone up. In other words, the labor cost variance has increased or a negative variance of 29,500 is a total labor cost variance. So the management is interested to understand why did the cost increase by 84 rupees, then they need to undertake the uh, detailed cost variances. And in order to do that, we need certain input to undertake a detailed variance analysis. So the first one is a st standard time and actual time. <coughs> the actual time is already given 1250 male and 800 female hours. Whereas the standard should have been should have been 
350 male and female 1400. How did we get this 350? So for 50 units you require 50 person hours for male. So therefore for 350 it should be 350 person hours for male workers. In the same way female is for 50 units you require 4 times. So therefore for 350 it should be 1400 hours. In other words the company should have used the 1750 hours instead of 2050 hours in the ratio of 1 is to 4. So that is the standard time and actual time. At the same time, they have not only changed the amount of labor required or used, but they also changed the composition of the workers. And that is called standard mix. Standard mix is the actual labor time in the standard ratio. So actual labor time in the standard ratio. So even if they have changed the quantity of time used, they should have used in this ratio and that is called the standard mix. So the standard time is the expected time for the actual output and the standard mix is actual time in standard ratio. So standard time is expected time expected time for actual output and that is the standard time that is standard time and uh, whereas the standard the standard mix is standard mix is uh, actual time actual time in standard ratio in standard ratio so that is what we did here besides these three time factors the other information which is available and required is the standard rate actual rate which are given and the most important number for computing the variances is standard yield and actual yield. Actual yield is 350. What is standard yield? The standard yield is actual expected output in the actual time expected output in actual time what does that mean that in 250 hours the standard was 50 units would have been produced so 2050 hours we should have produced 410 units of output whereas the actual output is 350. So the company has not been efficiently using its labor. It's quite clearly visible from these input which are required for variance analysis. Now let us find the variances. Now let us find the variances. The variance, the standard cost of labor that is the labor cost variance is standard time into standard rate in minus the actual time into actual rate so let me delete this columns okay so delete so that we'll have space here so the standard rate into standard time standard rate into standard time and actual rate 
into actual time gives me the labor cost variance. We can see that overall labor cost variance is 29,500 which is a combination of favorable and unfavorable variances for male and female workers. For male workers there is a huge unfavorable variance and for female because you have used less number of workers there is a favorable variance with respect to the labor cost. But let us take this one step further down. The labor cost variance arises due to the rate variance and the, and the efficiency variance. Let us find the labor rate variance. Rate variance is the difference between the actual rate and the standard rate multiplied by the actual time. So, with respect to male, you have paid, there is a favorable variance and the favorable variance because you are supposed to have paid 120 but actually you paid 110. But in the process you ended up paying for more people, that is why there is an overall negative variance. In the similarly for the female workers is a standard rate minus actual rate into actual time. This, the other component of the rate, the efficiency uh, is the efficiency variance, and the efficiency variance is standard time in minus actual time into standard rate. We can see that if you see the link between these two, because you paid less, you end up having more workers, so end up having huge, huge negative un or unfavorable variances. Whereas in case of female, you paid slightly higher, but you ended up with a favorable variances. This is labor efficiency efficiency variance. Efficiency variance. This labor efficiency variance as we saw may be due to the mix or the net efficiency. That is the mix we already saw, the mix has changed because the composition of the workers, the composition of the workers, it should have been in 410 and 1640. This 200, 2050 person hours should have been used in the ratio of 410 to 1640. So that is responsible for the mix variance okay, or gang variance. What is this mix variance? Mix variance is the change in the cost due to the change in the composition and because you are using more of m m the male workers which, are, was, which you should not have used as per the standard you have used negative, you have used negative or adverse, adverse, you have used adverse variances. And in case of female, because you have used less number, less number of um, the female workers, you ended up with a favorable variance. Overall, the mix variance is positive. But if you, in order to understand this, we have to see labor efficiency variance should be seen with the labor efficiency variance is a combination of gang or mix variance and efficiency. That means the cost may have changed due to an efficiency of the workers or due to the change in the composition. So the first part shows the change in the composition. So, the balancing figure is actually 
the net efficiency variance and the net efficiency variance is the difference between the actual yield, standard yield, at the standard cost of labor. The standard cost of labor is 720 per unit of output and your output has decreased by uh, the output has decreased by mm, 350 minus 410 so 60 and into the standard cost of labor gives us the net efficiency variance so to to summarize to summarize the the labor cost variance 29500 can be further subdivided into labor rate variance and efficiency variance and efficiency variance can be further digged into the gang variance or the mix variance or the net efficiency net efficiency variance so if the labor cost variance has to be analyzed one need to examine the change in the efficiency due to the change in mix or change in the efficiency or is the cost did the cost change because of the rate so we can say that labor cost variance is a combination of rate mix and the net efficiency variance so managing labor cost is managing the rate managing the composition and managing the efficiency of the workers. Thank you very much.